What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection Women's Division Walgreens exclusive Sasha Banks. Here we do have Sasha in the packaging. Really excited I have her in hand. She does come with the Raw Women's title. Her shades, necklace, and of course her legit boss rings. You can see Sasha Banks. Have the women's the Raw Women's title right here. A beautiful image of Sasha here. An actual image from Sasha winning her title. And then on the back, no bio. It does say three-time Raw Women's Champion, although I think it's four times now. Legit boss, finishing move. The bank statement from Boston, Massachusetts. Sasha Banks. Her first title victory was in... Uh, was in July 2016 versus Charlotte Flair. We do have Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch, although we haven't seen any images of this Becky, so I'm really curious about it. But anyway, with that out of the way, guys, let's actually take a little break, get her out of the packaging, and go on to the rest of her review. So sit tight, everyone. And here we have Sasha Banks posing out of the packaging. Now, before we get on to the figure, let's actually have a rundown of her accessories. I'll save the title for last because I want to touch on that the most. She does come with her sunglasses, which, just like all the other Sasha Banks releases, you can have them up here at the top of her head, or her wearing them. You can see she also does come with her legit boss rings. Be very careful with these, as you can see, they pop off really easy, and if you lose these, these are probably going to be lost forever, so if I were you, I'd either glue them on her hand, or don't display her with them at all. She also does come with her legit boss necklace. Now, I was told that mine was broken, but... Two out of two, two out of three Sasha Banks figures have had this, so I'm guessing this is this is just how they're doing her necklace now, so that you don't have to be putting it over her hair and then sliding it under. This actually makes it a whole lot better, and this one is actually painted. You can see it says legit boss on it, and I do like the fact that they try to paint legit blue, and then they just have black over the legit or the boss part. So I do like that. So let's actually move on to the title belt. Now, I have a lot of complaints with this title belt, and it's all laziness on Mattel's part. Now, we have seen this title belt before. It's actually the exact same size and sculpt as the World Heavyweight title. I even looked at it really closely. It doesn't say women's title right here. I don't know if you can make that out, but it says World Heavyweight Champion. It's the exact same sculpt we got with this belt. Everything on this belt, this one right here, is the same as this one. Except that they did give us the longer belt, but you can see exact same belt. They should not be the same size. If anything, that makes this belt completely oversized on any of the women figures that you might that you might have. And just to give you an example of that, let's move some of her accessories off to the side. And her shades are stuck on my pinky. I'll just leave it there for now. In order for this belt to properly wrap around Sasha, it has to be that big. The holes don't even match. And just look at how big that title is. It takes up half her torso. This is complete laziness on Mattel's part and I can actually say lazy because they went back and used the extended title. Not the shorter one that we saw here but the extended belt. That is sheer laziness on Mattel's part. From a distance you won't be able to tell but putting it Near Sasha Banks, you can obviously see it is an oversized belt. This is just like the Divas title fiasco that we got with Kelly Kelly, how the belt was so huge. They did end up fixing it, but it was like 10, 20 waves later with Paige. And uh, it's just things like that that Mattel does. Really makes me like feel bad for collectors. 
But anyway, let's actually get Sasha posed really fast. Here we do have Sasha Banks, and let's actually compare her to her previous figures. And here we have Sasha Banks posed to her previous release figures. We have her Elite and her Battle Pack series. And as you can see, she essentially uses the exact same sculpt that this one had. No! I, no, it is. They just didn't sculpt this one. I thought that her strap was actually sculpted on, but no, it's just painted. She uses the exact same sculpt as this figure, but she uses the head for this one, which I thought was a much better head. With, you know, it is your preference. If you want to, like, swap heads, you can. I'm going to stick to this one, although I will say that they still haven't got her her hair right. It's still this really dark color. It should be a more vibrant, almost pink purple. So they're slowly improving Sasha Banks, but they just haven't gotten it right. I do like her attire right here. You can see the studs are all nicely painted. Kind of wish that... Wait a minute. It, no, her straps aren't... She only has one strap that is actually sculpted on. It's kind of a bummer. But it was like that on the other figure. I wonder why I didn't notice. All these are painted on. You can see there is some paint error there. Not too much of an issue there. We do have some issues with it lining up. But it from a distance, again, you're not going to notice it. She does have legit boss on the back of her trunks. Really like that most of the paint is clean. I'll give it credit that. Knee pads look really nice. It is hard to line everything up. And if you do on mine, her legs are kind of pointed in one direction. But overall, I still like the way the figure came out. Moving on to her articulation. Just like all the other Sasha Banks figures, you're mainly just going to be getting a rotation out of this joint. Because we don't get too much up and down on that ball joint. Arms do go out to about this far. They do a full 360. She spins at the bicep, although it's really stiff on this arm. Let's rotate this arm. She has a single joint right there. Spins at the wrist. She has an ab crunch, which, or a diaphragm joint, which goes back that far. Not too far forward, but we do get some side to side movement in that, so that's pretty good. Waist swivel, which I still think looks ugly. They should have the swivel right up here. Legs go forward, back, and out to about that far. She has a thigh swivel. She is single jointed in the knee. Boot swivel. And then we have a hinge in the ankle. No rocker ankles, but we've come to expect that from women figures. Especially made by Mattel. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is get her pose from our final thoughts. Then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Sasha Banks pose for my final thoughts. Overall, it's a really nice figure, but I really hate this title. I don't know why Mattel just figured that they could just release the World Heavyweight title and that would be the end of it. No, it's really too big for Sasha Banks and it's really too big for Alexa Bliss. It's too big for every female figure you probably own. Which is a shame because I really wanted a women's title and unfortunately the first one we get, it's the Divas title all over again. So, from a distance, yeah, it's going to look good, but I really wish Mattel would have put effort in to give us a women's size title belt, not just reuse the world title over and over again. It doesn't work. As far as the figure goes, it's a nice figure. I really do like the color scheme. I really do wish that some at some point we get an Eddie Guerrero, you know, attire for Sasha Banks because that's probably my favorite ring gear that she's ever worn. Being from El Paso, I'm a really big fan of Eddie Guerrero. But overall, I still like this figure and I do think you should add it to your collection, especially if you want a women's title. Although, again... Be aware that it is going to be pretty oversized. With that being said, guys, I do recommend this figure if you're a Sasha Banks fan or just want a women's title. She is exclusive to Walgreens, so if you're trying to find this figure, you're going to have to be checking your local Walgreens. I know Triple H just came out, but I still really do recommend this figure. Even if you're not a fan of the belt like I am, you still have to respect that 
we got a really nice figure with really nice paint apps here. But I'm going to end my review here. So with that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of Sasha Banks. Do you think the figure's worth it? If not, let me know what your thoughts on it. As always, go ahead and check out all my other WWE action figure reviews, as well as all my other toy re reviews. Hopefully there's something you guys enjoy. And as always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.